The day has arrived to install this into my van and uh, I want to see the levels on my Serbo GX. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Off Grid and uh, in this episode I am going to be mounting this onto my fresh water tank so that I can see uh, the levels in my Serbo GX and see it on the Victron VRM site. Um, as you can see, it's, I've got the reading here but it's not connected currently. And uh, I've installed GUI mods on there, so that makes it easier for me to see these levels. Uh, so let's get to it, install this into the fresh water tank. So here's my uh, fresh water tank. Uh, I measured it to be 400 millimeters deep. And uh, so if we take the lid off and just check it out, it's got quite a lot of water in it at the moment. Um, let's see when this hits the bottom. It's a little bit shallower than 400 millimeters so what I've done is I have these two acrylic discs that I've made so the idea is that I'm able to mount this on here with sicker flex which will raise it up a bit it may push the tank up a little bit but that's fine it can push on there and um, now I need to decide where I'm going to drill the actual hole so we need a, a hole about that diameter so I've got my also ready, just need to mount it in the drill, but just first decide where to put this. Obviously this will be fairly destructive in the sense that I'm drilling quite a big hole into this here. So do I mount it over here, which will give me enough space. There you see it's got this um, embossed writing here, well it sticks out here. And uh, here's another potential spot where I can get a bit further away from the tank, but then I'm quite close to this unit here. And this is just for the overflow. This one goes all the way down to the bottom for the water takeoff. So I need to decide, am I going to put it here? Or am I going to put it here close, close to this thing that says fresh water? So I've decided to put it here just because uh, in this corner it's held a little bit more level. This one, the, the tank has sunk in a little bit here, so it would be at quite an angle sticking down there. Uh, I can get it close to this thing that says only for fresh or waste water, uh, and that'll give me enough space behind there for uh, the other side, which is going inside there. So I just need to uh, mark the spot and drill it now. Thank you. 
So this is now tightened in. We've got four 35 mil bolts and there was another another one uh, when I took the wrong one. So that's five mils longer. That's why it's sticking out. I'm going to leave it in place so it's not doing any harm being there. So now I need to connect these wires um, and then test it out. So polarity doesn't actually matter. Uh, I'm going to go uh, red to, to red. Pull these up. So putting in the red, we've I've put in a ferrule here so that it just makes it easier. This is, has been soldered, so that's fine. And then let's go the black wire. I'll show you with the blue. Right, these are all, I'm going to leave them loose on the top for now and tidy them later. I'm just going to plug these in and then tidy up the wires later. Just want to make sure it's all working. And uh, again, polarity doesn't matter, so uh, it's going into this first one. There we are. So that's connected. So, as you can see, I'm at uh, 82 liters, 51% of my water. So according to this, it is 51%. Let's see on the old display. So if I come up here and check my fresh water, it says it's halfway. The problem with this, it's between half and three quarters and you don't actually know whether it's closer to half or closer to three quarters. So there, it, the advantage of this is that it's telling us pretty much exactly 51%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually run out some water just to have a look and see. So I'm wanting to run water out until I go below the 50% mark, so it'll be a few minutes. So I'll expect this one any moment now to drop to the quarter mark, which means it's just under half. This is what I don't like about this, is you've got basically 25% increments, whereas on this new center, I've got 1% increments. So as you can see, this is going down. It's gone down to 47%. So that well, unit is dropping down. Now we'll be showing a quarter. I may need to sort out the calibration a little bit, but that's basically working well for us now. Okay, so we ran a little, we were at 51%, ran a little bit of water out of the tank just to get it below 51. So this is now showing 47%. May need to calibrate it because I don't think we used that much, but at least it's showing us just under 50. However, when we look at the original one, it's showing us that we are at one quarter. So what this is actually telling us is we're between a quarter and a half. And we happen to know we are very close to half, just under half, but you wouldn't actually know that by looking at this. So you, if you're away, you think you've got a quarter of a tank left of water, you're going to conserve it, whereas actually you've got a half, you can carry on using it happily. Hope that, uh, nice dirty hands, hope that is uh, useful to anybody wanting to mount a, um, a tank sender into their freshwater tank and connect it to their, their Sobo and then sit in your lounge and look at your water levels, look at your LPG levels, look at the temperature, look at everything to do with your van. So thanks folks, see you in the next episode. Cheers.